بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولا. In order to heed the call of Pakistani and Indian engineers who asked me personally to share my videos in English language so that they can fully understand it, as they already are not familiar with Arabic language, I decided every now and then to share some videos in English language so that the most majority of people can fully get the benefits of my content and hopefully they can fully understand it so in today's video we'll talk about how to download install activate Dixie for software this software that coming to us from Siemens to communicate and configure Cybertech 4 Siemens protection relays let's start first of how to download the software you can simply go to Google Chrome from here and just type uh, Digzy for download. And you can download the software through the official Siemens website from here. All what you need to do is to register and create your own account. It's for free. After that, you just need to search for the product you need to download and it will be available like this one we here need to download Tixi 4 uh, software uh, here available the latest version it's 4.95 it's always a good practice to uh, stick with the latest version unless you have some specific relay that cannot communicate with this version you can uh, then download another version but here it's the latest version 4.95 uh, all what you need to do is to click and download it and you will get file same like this one okay i here have version 4.94 and version 4.93 after downloading the software you just need to install it all what you have to do is to go through the file you recently downloaded and then click the setup so you get this security pop-up to allow uh, uh, the software to make changes to the device you just click yes and then you choose the language you're gonna use you have two options here you need to download the software itself dixie 4 and you need to download also the device drivers device drivers that tell the software uh, which relay type you're gonna communicate with okay uh, first you will get to the software dexy4 and likely you will uh, be asked to uh, enter the license key i already shared with you two license key in the video description below you just uh, need to choose one of them and enter i already uh, installed the uh, software so i'm not gonna uh, repeat that okay after uh, finishing installing you will just follow uh, the process through the software itself After finish the installation of Dexy4, you will gonna repeat same thing with the dri device driver. You you will uh, install all the device drivers, and then congratulations, you have installed the software. After installation of the software, now you need to open it, and we will learn together how to communicate with the relay itself. First, we will open the software. I'll just close this one you will get this uh, window this is the uh, opening of the software itself uh, first thing you need to create your own planet structure by opening new projects just name the projects I will call it YouTube project after that I'll press OK 
as you can see new project created with the name entered now i will start to insert files with like for example the voltage level that is available in my substation uh, this folder i will call it 132 uh, kb and this folder i will call i will name it uh, 13.8 kV. Like I categorize it the uh, project structure or the planet structure as bare uh, voltage level. Okay. For example, for this, uh, I will insert new object. I will insert the relay that I'm going to communicate with. And you will find this device catalog will open. This is as per the installed drivers uh, that you uh, recently installed uh, in your uh, PC. Uh, for example, we're gonna choose 7SCD uh, Separatec 4 relays. Uh, let's go ahead and choose line differential relays 7SCD 522. Okay, now you have options for the relay versions. Give some care to this point because if the relay version that you will choose is not the same as the actual relay version that you're gonna communicate with you will not be able to communicate you just have to choose the same version that already available in the relay you want to communicate with or else you have to initializing the relay then you will reconfigure it and of course this is not the best practice while you are working in live substations because live substations has relays that are already configured we don't want to change the relay configuration we just need to communicate and change like some parameters so at the end you'll find yourself need to choose the same version that is available in the relay and you can simply access the relay versions through the HMI uh, display from the device information. I will go ahead and choose this 4.6. Just drag and drop. Okay, now MLFP menu available. This is like the specifications of the of the relay in terms of these letters. You can find this MLFP uh, number available also in the relay display in the device information. Uh, I have here one MLFP. We just gonna use just for demonstration. Okay, this is through the HMI. And you need to enter here the first number as you can see 7SD522. 7SD522. Then you will enter 1 here. Then 5DB. 5DB. As you can see, each number or each letter have a specific meaning or a specific specifications for the relay. For example, this is the housing binary inputs and outputs. It's D letter means flush mounting, blah, blah, blah. This is the power supply data like this. Okay. After B, we have uh, 999. I will just enter 9. And when I enter 9, there is extension for MLFP available here. This extension, this one downside. It's also, you can access through the same HMI, same uh, device information. For first line, it's 0S. So we will just enter 0 and S. Okay. And for the second line, it will be 0H. So 0H. And for the third line, it will be 7s so it's 7 and s okay now i didn't find s here right 
uh, actually this is good that means that I choose the wrong version guys this MLFP is not the same version that I already choose so I'm gonna cancel everything and choose another version okay I will do it again insert new object separate device uh, before I choose six I think I'm gonna choose seven this time and if I stick with this one it should be the same one five D B nine zero and S then nine zero and H then nine seven and S is here available now. Okay, so if there is any mismatch between the version that you choose and the data or the version in the relay itself you will find such things the front end mlfp and uh, these things also okay uh, after uh, third line you, you just need to enter hk0 h k 0 and now we entered successfully the MLFP. You will find the file uh, created like this one. Uh, you can also rename it. Uh, uh, after that, you need to reconfigure the configuration ports. From here, object properties. You just need to go to communication parameters and enter the VD address of the relay. I have here one VD address. It's like uh, 10012. So you just need to enter 10012. This is the VD address of the relay that you're going to communicate with. And you can access this number from the uh, relay display also. And then the mirror. For the mirror, you just need to increase one number here. Yani if I mean, if it's 10012, you can make it 10013 like this. And just press enter. This is to directly communicate with the relay. After that, all what you need to do is to double click and press direct, press OK. And if you are communicating through your uh, cable, uh, PC cable, you will be able to directly communicate to the relay and that was demonstration of how to uh, download install and communicate with separatic 4 uh, relays using dixi 4 software i hope uh, you guys get the benefits of this uh, video subhanakallahumma bihamdik astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Shana.